this is courtesy of TMZ, and I'm wondering, in general, if this is a good time to ask my audience out there, if, does Kanye need to be punched in the face? And do all men in their life need to have a point where somebody punches him in the face for the dumb shit that they say? Because, like I said previously, I think a lot of the reason why Kanye is the way he is is because he's been indulged throughout his life. But then if you also look at some of the old videos of his where he's kind of on a come up and he doesn't have much money or he's not that well known or he's not that, you know, whatever it may be, or his music isn't as great, he was still kind of talking this smack talk back then. He was still on this crud talk even back then when he had no money. So the issue that some people... I think will face when they try to lecture him, try to maybe see, make him see reason, is that he was having that talk when he didn't have anything. Now he has everything. It's going to be pretty difficult to convince him what you're saying makes sense, is right, or is anything he should bother paying attention to. It's going to be very difficult because he wasn't listening back then. He's not going to listen now. But I also think in life, just because you say some crazy shit, you should face the consequences of your action. But it looks like with Kanye... He likes to goad people, get them irritated, essentially like a, you know, like the consummate troll. But then when it comes to them reacting violently, he then tries to cry Karen and basically snitch or whatever it may be. And this is what you get from this exchange here with Diddy. Really, really bizarre. So it says already, um, these attempts to reason with Kanye West over the White Lives Matter t-shirt controversy are falling on deaf ears with Ye dropping F-bombs while tripling down on his putting all those controversial gear on the market. And I think I've actually got the screenshots here that I can see the entire thing so I can kind of read them out to you. So yeah, these are the screenshots, um, you know, shared by Kanye, of course, on his account, which is absolutely insane to think that he's sharing screenshots with somebody as prominent as Diddy regarding this argument that they had. So in this first screenshot, it's got a text here with him talking to Puff, which is Diddy. And it's basically, I think, after the phone call they had. So they clearly had a phone call after, I think, Kanye saw the video of Diddy basically clarifying his earlier statements and saying, hey, I've now seen the shirt. I don't fuck with this guy at all. Don't buy this shirt. This shirt's garbage. And I guess they got on the phone and the phone conversation didn't go too well because Kanye tweets or Kanye texts Puff straight away and says, I didn't like our convo. I'm selling these teas. Nobody gets in between me and my money. This is my grandfather texting you now. <laughs> Never call me with no bullshit like that again unless you're ready to green light me, which is crazy, right? Him saying this because nobody who got, who got on that tea, because anybody who got on that tea is me. Out of respect for everything you've meant to me, I'll be quiet as Virgil, which is a fucking insane, rude thing to say. Um, I don't even know where to begin on that one. Um, but now I know I've hurt people I love with threats. Come do something illegal to me now, please. God is love, my brother misspoke to me, but I still love him. So he's obviously goading him, right? Just being an absolute cunt about it. Come something to me illegal, please. That is incredible high vibrations, Karen levels of things, right? That he's kind of putting out there. Then another tweet, another text message thread here. It says, as soon as I land, we'll meet face to face. Send me the address. He says, nigga, fuck you. You fed. When really Kanye is a fed. For him saying, you know, come do something illegal to me. Uh, and then I think one of the captions too, if I'm not mistaken, after this finish was like, a tweet was something like, oh, um, these guys are so dumb. I basically put them into my trap. And now if anything happens to me, the two main suspects will be Boosie and kind of Puff, Dead, Puff Diddy. Uh, Puff Daddy, sorry, or Diddy. It's just horrible. What, what, what an idiot. And they got another one. Um, Puff sends you another text saying, just being very direct. Send me the address, send me the address, send me the address. Let's stop playing these internet games and don't feel threatened. You'll be fine. Just love. And he text back says, um, this ain't a game. I'm going to use you as an example to show the Jewish people that told you to call me that no one can threaten or influence me. I told you this is war. Now go get you some business. Jesus is a Jew. Jesus Christ. So that's why I made you believe that I think some people need to get punched in the face. Some people need to face the consequences of their actions because the talk that he's talking now is stuff that you can't say sorry about. It's stuff that you can't reconcile over a dinner, over sending someone to rock or sending them a chair or giving them free shoes for life. This is something that you need to run a fade with. You have to. And it continues here. Puff texts back and says, I'm just trying to talk to you as a black man. I'm talking to you because this is hurting our people. Stop. He says, anything you text, I'll post. I love you. So clearly, this is something that he's been talking about with other people and things that he said before, where he has this thing where there's no such thing as a private conversation. 
<laughs> which is a really good power play because it means that you get people to be on their best behavior in Texas because they don't want to end up on a jumbotron. Um, it says, um, and you guys are breaking my heart. I accept your apology in advance, which is the most yay thing ever to hear, right? And something that's incredibly rude also. Um, because, you know, you're essentially dismissing anybody's concerns about you or their questions or basically how they feel about you in general. But like I said, I still think this is grounds for Kanye to, for the argument to be had that Kanye more than anybody deserves to get punched in the face. Now, the issue is, He's clearly somebody that likes to talk a lot of shit but isn't ready to fight. But then the funny thing is in that video of him kind of, you know, trying to sun the Adidas executives, he does basically act very intimidating. He's kind of like in their space. He's talking with his hands. He's kind of being the big bad wolf. But you never really see him do that with black people, I feel like, for the most part. Maybe if they're musicians and they want to make an album with him, they're already kind of already in awe that they're going to work with the messiah so that makes more sense but i think in a general environment he doesn't act like that way around the blacks but when he gets around the whites he kind of flexes up and tries to become a you know this kind of gd chicago dude um so it was quite funny to see him kind of quiver and shake in his own way when did he kind of pressed him a little bit but also remained the cunt so he wasn't like he was backing down he kept trolling he kept doubling down on the trolling but like i said i think um, he is somebody that maybe does need to have a little bit of a spanking just to kind of get him in line. But something tells me, being an avid Kanye fan, I've, you know, beating him up will probably make him into a worse person. It probably won't do the. It will probably won't have the desired effect that I'm thinking it will have. No way, shape, or form. This guy's been like this for a while, and I don't really see him changing anytime soon. So maybe I'm kind of wishing on the stars or myself when it comes to that sort of stuff. Maybe I am wishing on the star too.